But the biggest reason this is a huge bull signal is because it's gonna signal to all the other CEOs on Wall Street, wait a minute, if Elon can do this, then from a regulatory standpoint, there must be something to this. I wanna get in on this too, because I don't wanna get left behind. So as far as like what's gonna to happen to the price of Bitcoin, I think it's gonna to continue to skyrocket at least over the next day or two as people wake up and realize the news and what's going on. They can be like, oh my God, I at the end of 2020. Musk says his board is also letting him buy gold, but I don't think he bought any. Fred Katamai reports. Bitcoin got a jolt of confidence from Tesla. The electric car maker said it invested $1.5 billion in the electronic currency, driving it up more than 15% to a record high. Analysts say the company's investment could prove to be a game changer for Bitcoin. While central banks have been skeptical of digital currencies, some big financial institutions like BlackRock and PayPal support them. And this is a game changer move for Tesla in terms of Bitcoin. It, it, it really validates some of the strategy that we're seeing for some corporations, MicroStrategy, now Tesla. The fact that Musk went into the deep end of the pool on Bitcoin, it's going to send a ripple effect really across the board. Tesla also said it expects its customers will be able to use Bitcoin to buy its cars and other products in the near future. I think it's something that could really start to change from a commerce perspective of how we use Bitcoin. Bitcoin, which has set new record highs in recent months, has had a roller coaster ride over the past decade. But Tesla CEO Elon Musk has endorsed Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies in the past. Just last week, he said Bitcoin was on the verge of being more widely accepted among investors. In December, he asked if it was possible to do large transactions with it. And Wall Street reached all-time closing highs on Monday. S&P 500, the Dow, both in their longest winning streak since August. The Dow rose nearly 238 points, 0.76%. S&P 500 gained nearly 29 points, 0.74%. The Nasdaq added over 131 points, or 0.95%. Look at those bulls go. Oil prices rose to their highest in over a year. Supply cuts, hopes for demand. Health energy stocks jump 4.2%. Fourth quarter reporting season is now more than halfway through with nearly 300 companies having reported results. Analysts are now seeing S&P 500 earnings posting a year-on-year -year gain of 2.4%. Who would have imagined? It's much better than an earlier expectation of a 10% decline. You got that right. And the new Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen says we will see full employment by 2022 if only we pass Joe Biden's $2 trillion spending bill. Stock markets will be even happier. Yellen says without the spending. Uh, let us make a, a turn here. When Elon Musk tweets, the world listens, especially the crypto world, what has to do with a cryptocurrency, in a series of tweets, Early today, Musk set off an investor frenzy with a single word, Doge, in a tweeted reply to a picture he then posted of a rocket heading to the moon. But there is more to this because Doge is really on the move. Let's get to Christina Partsinevelis, who's been really following this story. Christina. Thank you. Elon Musk may not always be a man of his word, but his tweets sure are worth a lot. Elon Musk promised that he was going to take a break from Twitter, but only two days later, he broke that vow and he tweeted about this cryptocurrency doge. He tweeted about it six times. Here's another tweet we can show you. And this is a Lion King meme of Rafiki holding Simba to his kingdom. Rafiki's face is Elon Musk. Uh, Simba's face is the doge logo. And this is Simba 
symbolism for the soaring price of Doge, which has occurred ever since Elon Musk has tweeted about it. But Doge Quartz, what is it? It's a peer-to-peer -peer cryptocurrency. It's, it was invented back in 2013 as a joke, and it's still considered a joke, but yet its year-to-date value has increased 659%. On January 28th, that's just last week, Dogecoin was the most tweeted about cryptocurrency, beating out Bitcoin. A lot of that had to do with those Reddit investors. They were pushing up the price and talking about it on Wall Street bets, so much so that Robinhood, that free trading platform, had to disable its instant buying button, which means that you could take instant bank transfers to purchase some of these cryptocurrencies. But you have today billionaires reuniting on Twitter. Mark Cuban also tweeting about Dogecoin today. It's, it's adding to the momentum. And we are seeing this momentum all across the cryptocurrency market with Ether and with Bitcoin. Bitcoin bulls still believe, and it's at just above $37,000 right now, they believe that Bitcoin will hit at least $40,000. JP Morgan predicting that $100,000 point. So we know Elon Musk is wealthy. Uh, he's actually worth about $185 billion. So he's the richest man in the world, beating out Jeff Bezos. But we also know now his tweets are worth a lot. Liz? Well, 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 just to let people know, Dogecoin right now is at about four and a half cents. So I get what Mark Cuban is saying. It's not a big extension of your wallet to pick up a Dogecoin. We're watching it all. Christina, exactly. thank you very much. Christina Parts and Nevelis. But the biggest reason this is a huge bull signal is because it's going to signal to all the other CEOs on Wall Street. Wait a minute. If Elon can do this, then from a regulatory standpoint, there must be something to this. I wanna get in on this too, because I don't wanna get left behind. So as far as like what's gonna to happen to the price of Bitcoin, I think it's gonna to continue to skyrocket at least over the next day or two as people wake up and realize the news and what's going on. They can be like, oh my God, I need to buy Bitcoin. Yes, that's gonna happen. And I'm sure we're gonna go through peaks and valleys and we're gonna you know, pull back at some point. But price aside, there's a few reasons why all of this is super interesting. So one of the things this means is uh, Tesla's stock price is going to continue to skyrocket just like it has. And it's already up over 2%, which interestingly is like $15 billion in terms of a market capitalization, which means that his $1.5 billion purchase actually has already been returned to him in the form of value by literally 10 times more than what he spent on Bitcoin, because that's, again, a $15 billion increase to Tesla's valuation. So it's interesting because I never actually bought into Tesla stock because I always felt like I missed out on it, but the truth is it probably has a long way to go. So instead, I've been converting most of my cash into Bitcoin because I knew, well, I didn't know, but I suspected highly that something like this could happen. And I knew that at the time when I was buying Bitcoin, that it still had a long way to go. And it still has a long way to go. Also, interestingly, this is something Anthony Pompliano pointed out in his newsletter this morning, is that Elon and Tesla's whole ethos for basically existing is to help humanity move forward in a way that's sustainable and to create a sustainable green world. And there's just no way that Elon and Tesla would start basically accepting Bitcoin and, and supporting Bitcoin unless he thought that it was sustainable in some way or could be sustainable in the future. And one of the biggest criticisms of Bitcoin right now is that there's a lot of wasteful mining, right? It's this proof of work concept is just wasteful energy. But I think the people that criticize Bitcoin aren't necessarily the people that are also keeping up with the technology and what's going on because interestingly, most of Bitcoin's energy actually comes from renewable sources. But again, most critics probably don't know that because they're not reading up on the technology every day. So again, I just don't think that Elon would ever start supporting Bitcoin unless he knew that it was probably more sustainable than not. And the second reason that it's important is because this domino effect is about to become very real. So I don't really know what the official word for this is, but I'm just gonna call it the domino effect. But essentially what I mean is we're gonna have a lot of these Fortune 500 CEOs follow in Elon's footsteps. And that's not because Elon is a cool kid and everybody wants to be just like him and he's a renegade, but because all of them are faced with an identical problem that I've been talking about on my channel for a very long time, which is the Federal Reserve's printing press, right? And one of the most basic pieces of financial advice that you'll ever hear on the internet and something that I say a lot is to have most of your cash be invested and working for you 
Otherwise, you're gonna start to lose that purchasing power, right? And that's very obvious, but as individuals, we get to save, you know, maybe tens of thousands, maybe for the lucky few of us, hundreds of thousands of dollars over the course of our lifetime. But imagine being a corporation where you have billions of dollars, where losing one or 2% of purchasing power becomes a very real problem because that represents tens of millions of dollars of purchasing power per year. So that very real problem needs a very real solution. And Elon seems to think that one of those solutions is Bitcoin, and I happen to agree with him, which is why I've been converting much of my cash reserves into Bitcoin as early as 2014. Another reason why this is huge is because of hedge funds. So imagine this scenario, right? You're a hedge fund manager and you've got tens of billions of dollars in control of other people's money that you're investing for them. And let's say in 2021, you made some good decisions and your portfolio is up by 10%. Imagine being that person and then having to answer to their investors why you only grew by 10% and why someone like Kathy Wood grew by 200%. It's almost like you can't do that. So in a way, it forces the hands of these hedge fund managers to have some of their capital be exposed to something like Bitcoin. So just for the liability aspect, you can say, hey guys, I was, I was smart. I, I knew it all along. Don't worry, I got you. You're exposed to Bitcoin. We've got 1% coverage. <laughs> so this is a huge deal. And I think this is really gonna help Bitcoin. And I honestly don't think that it took a genius to see. All it took was smashing the like button, subscribing to my channel and just watching. That's all it took. Now I'm gonna buy myself a Tesla. <laughs> I don't know, maybe the Model S, maybe the Model Y, I don't know, let me know. In the meantime, go get up to two